Nerdfighters! Okay, so the reason why I did that was firstly because Nerdfighters are freaking awesome, and you guys are freaking awesome, and we're all made of awesome, and secondly because this is the week of displaying our Nerdfighty awesome for everyone to see. And I have to admit to you guys, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Other than flail and make motions. So yeah, I hope this goes really well. Ugh. So I just kind of went with a theory, okay? You guys can disprove it all you want in the comments, I don't care. It's just, it's, it's really interesting to me because it's new and because it's awesome. And that is the theory of neutrinos. Now, I think it's already semi-proven that neutrinos do exist, but the thing that isn't proven is how fast they can travel. So, see, there's this theory that if they can travel faster than light, then they can be the effect before the cause. Isn't that crazy? That is some crazy poop right there. See, if they can travel faster than light, then they can go before the light and do some crazy stuff and they can be an effect. And by the time the light gets there, the effect had already happened before the cause that the light was already showing. So, yeah. And I'm not sure what to example for this cause and effect theory. I just, I just saw it when it was in its simpler form referred to as that. And you know, the internet is wondrous because that is how I learned that. And this is feeling really quick because I don't know a lot of nerdy things to talk about. Okay, all right, that was all right. And then there's this other thing, and I'm gonna more rant and rave about it than actually nerdify you about it, and that is the idea of antimatter. Like, does that blow anyone else's mind? That blows my mind. Like, I don't know how non-matter can exist because everything we know and see is existing and matterful and made of particles and things like that, but there's this antimatter that apparently is the opposite of existing. How? How is it the opposite of existing? God dang it. All right, and my third theory for you today is dark matter. Okay, so dark matter is basically this idea, kind of like neutrinos really, except it's so awesome because it's almost, they're saying if this stuff exists and if it's legit, it can disprove the theory of gravity, okay? So dark matter is basically what's in the sky and it's what's in space. It's like they're saying that space isn't nothing. It's dark matter and it's around all the planets, traveling through us, and it's like it's kind of like antimatter, I guess. It's like a mixture of all those crazy things and it's traveling through space. From what I gather, this is basically how it works. So say this here Bali thing is the earth okay and my arm is the dark matter see this is why it's disproving uh, gravity because the dark matter if it's traveling through space very impossibly fast then it's almost going to be like I don't know aerodynamics I guess so if it's traveling impossibly fast and it flows then it's gonna hit the earth and it's gonna go around okay buddy it's gonna go around and if it's going around as such, then it's obviously going to create some sort of pressure on the earth, keeping us down. More so pushing us down than us being pulled down. Yeah. So obviously they're not so far into that theory, but they're that far, which I think is pretty awesome because if we're being pushed down instead of pulled down, stuff like that, and I guess it still doesn't really, and that also explains kind of the orbitals with the flowy and the awesome, and obviously I'm not all that educated on it, okay? Like, I've tried looking things up and stuff, and I keep gathering the same simplistic, basic thing which I just explained. I could be wrong. I could be wrong about all three of these theories, but you know what? Say la vie, and that is my nerdiness to you, and I can't wait to hear your nerdiness to me, other than our obvious connection. 
Okay, so the lighting completely failed me when I tried to do my little exit, so I'm going to do my little exit right here. So, yeah. And I just wanted to say that, of course, I'm not very educated on either of these things. These are just things I've gathered over time and I've learned from listening to people and stuff like that. So, obviously, I could be very much wrong about all these things. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> and... I just hope you found it was really, really awesome, and I hope you found it as awesome as I found it really, really awesome, and that you found it really, really awesome, and stuff like that. <sighs> oh gosh. So, without further ado, I bid you adieu.